Test, test, test. All right, hello and welcome to the stream. <clears throat> Hope everybody's doing great today. I'm doing all right myself. Just trying to get it situated here. Starting a little late today, sorry about that. Uh, let's see, so we got some Cataclysm Beta here um, that we are going to check out. Uh, I have a new mic, so if it does, it's got this noise gate thing on. So if it does some weird stuff, like it kind of, uh, whatever, I'm going to listen to it and fix it uh, later if it does it. But basically, sometimes I think if I go a little quiet on my voice, it doesn't pick it up as well. And I think it's based on the placement on top of my head. Or the placement to where my head is, I guess I should say. Anyways. So first off, when you get... Uh, if you get into beta, uh, I think a, a lot of people got into beta um, at this point. But uh, I might have to switch my headset here in a second. Um, the cable thing for the dongle. Uh, anyways, sorry. Uh, you, you can come in here. You can make a character. Like you can make a level one, whatever you want. Um, it goes through the whole new... Uh, let's just go in here. So so you can make a level 1 character, or you can make a template character. Uh, level 80 or 85. I don't know why I was making 80s. We're going to make an 85. But let's first... So when you make a level 1... Um, Hello. It's kind of cool. Anyways, all right. So then, I mean, I I skipped the whole thing. That's why I've pre-made it. Uh, but normally you'd come through. They're gonna give you the whole spiel of uh, the new stuff, what happens, and the lore of everything. Why is this guy following me? What now? It must be like part of a quest. All I did was come in here and take a look around at the starting area. Um, anyway, so <clears throat> the new starting area, you can't really see anything. But uh, what you can see is that there is the underwater shelf now. Um, I remember this. This is where you get your seahorse mount and stuff like that. So that's really cool. Uh... I mean, it, it's it was this was pretty cool when it came out because it, it was all kind of a new kind of situation thing. So we'll see how much I I remember it. I remember farming for a rare mount there for a long time. I remember that. So there's the yeah the little galactic shelf thing, and then we have you know Northrend as always, and then uh, the Outlands as always. Nothing's changed there. Then you have the Maelstrom, which is now. Uh, the Lost Isles, which is where the uh, 
I believe the little goblins live. Um, and then Kizan, which is, I believe, where the uh, the werewolves, the worgens live. And then you have Deep Home, which obviously I don't have anything unlocked yet. So that's pretty much where, you, you know, the starting area is just whatever you do. Um, I would take you more into the city and stuff and kind of see the areas all changed. But I, I'm going to leave that because that's more of a spoiler for people that haven't played it. Uh, so if you've played Classic and Wrath of the Lich King or whatever, and you've never played Cataclysm, um, the world changes. Like all the different things change, and I'm not gonna like go through all of it. A lot of it you've seen spoilers for. Some of it is in the trailer, um, but yeah, there's no point in me. Uh, there's no point in me going and showing people that don't want to see it that kind of stuff and all that. But anyway, so that's that. Let's go and let's just make an 85. Just start from scratch instead of one of the pre-mades I made. I think I can kind of remember. I don't remember. I remember going through my talents and picking them. So I might change. So with Cataclysm, I really... The only things that I know how to play for sure in Cataclysm is a Paladin, a Warlock... Or a Paladin and a Mage and a Shaman. Um, the mage being my number one, because that was my main at this point in, ca in my WoW career. So, undead, mage. So you can pick 80, 85, whatever you want to do. Uh, gives you, like, the look of top tier gear. Which is cool. So, like, uh, the 80 mage here. That's his top tier gear there. Well, Paladin. Warlock. And, of course, this guy. Let's uh, see what's going on in here. Alright. And the first thing you want to do whenever you make a new character in Cataclysm is go to the mailbox. Doesn't say I have any. Maybe I don't. Oh, I don't. Oh, okay, they put it down here. So, the first day I had beta this was like a while ago when I actually when I first got beta um I was uh, da, 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 da. oh you go in you check the mailbox it gives you um a bunch of stuff like it gives you uh 400 gold or something like that and this and this and this well now they just give you enough to where you can fly so like this guy he doesn't have any let's get a flying mount um. Oh. I wonder if it just gave. Did it give everybody? Yeah, it unlocked ten mounts I don't have. Like I don't have this mount, this Avatar of Flame. I never earned it. Oh, you know why? Is because it. I changed it from eighty to eighty-five. I do have this, but it won't let me mount it. Oh, you have to use it in AQ. Uh, I have a bunch of, I have a bunch of cool mounts. Like this, I got this on my retail ca character because I got it way back in the day. Um, I can't believe they took that out. That was like the best mount. It made you feel like uh, E Man. That one is like, it looks like Battle Cat. Come on. Anyways. Um, oh, okay. I guess it unlocks it account wide. I like this mount. I know it's just it's a crafting mount, but I love it. I mean, I have every mount that you see, I have. Besides, I, I didn't have that one. I, um, I don't know what else they added that I didn't don't have. But uh, let's see. Uh, 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 uh. 
But yeah, they also, they give you gear, choices. Oh, they didn't give me, on one of them, one of my things, they gave me a, what do you call it? They gave me a bunch of bandages and stuff for PvP. I don't know if it was because they thought I was going to be a PvP character. I don't know why they gave that to me, honestly. <laughs> what am I looking at? Oh, there we go. Let's see what gear's on him right now. 85 blue gear. Oh, I see. So it's all the same. It's just uh, depending on what spec you want to choose. It's what gear you'll probably want to equip. This is if you want to go level or play. Um, I'm just going to pick his talent. So uh, glyphs. Okay, you get three more glyphs. So instead of just having three and three, you have nine now. Um, so you can uh, build your glyphs. My uh, mouse is lagging. I have to wait for a... There we go. Okay, so you can go through and, and pick what you want, you know, to try and set up your things. This is what I recommend doing if you've never played Cataclysm, is at least coming in, making this character, and uh, screwing around on the talents. So before, as you know, the talent trees were just the normal talent trees. They look similar to this. These are short talent trees now. Um, but stuff that is like example, fire. So pyroblast, okay? Like in the old talent trees, you would spec into fire, power, pyroblast down here. Now you can't do that. So. My old mage build, when I came from Wrath of the Lich King, was I was an arcane palm pyro. So I had all arcane, I had presence of mind, which was right there, and then um, palm pry or pyro, which was right in this area. You could get it, I think, for 11 points or something like that. But then you had, you, you could do a, you know, an instant cast pyro blast, which is a lot of damage if you know your mage specs. Well, what they did, so there's, it's a cool thing in a uncool thing at the same time so i guess it just depends on what side you lie on whether you want you know which side you want basically um i'm gonna basically ignore this setup right here because i don't know frost very well um and i'm not a very fr i know they summon a water elemental but basically if you pick a, a specialization you can un so you instantly unlock these three things Right, which I think this, one of them's like a passive, I believe. One of them's something else. You know, it just depends on what they are. And then you get your main ability, your main, like, what everybody wants. You know, like, for Arcane, I guess it's Arcane Barrage, you know, for Pyroblast. And then for the little Water Elemental, which was always super popular, I remember. But, okay, so that's great, right? So now you have instant pyroblast. Now you can go in and pick your talents and you have pyroblast. But that means that if I choose arcane, I can never have pyroblast. I will never be a palm pyro mage again. See, that's what sucked about my build. But what I did end up liking about the build, because I do like Cataclysm. After looking at it, I do like a lot of the changes that they made in Cataclysm. A lot of people were hating on it, but I think it was the people... The people kind of like me that had a lot of fun in classic and loved the way classic was so you know um i don't know simplified but hard at the same time and they added all these extra features like transmog i mean look at all these buttons they didn't you didn't have these buttons you had like half of these buttons so like now you have like a dungeon journal built into the game so you don't need loot atlas technically you can come in here uh let's say here let's uh do this this is dungeon let's do a raid okay so now let's say we want to rain raid this this is always a fun raid i'm joking by the way but uh okay so now you come in here and so, like we're gonna fight this guy i can read about him i can sit here and it tells me their abilities that he has what happens because of these abilities it tells me um it tells me everything i need to know basically it gives me the loot oops normal what 
it's not gonna load it oh it probably it's not gonna load it it's the same thing with the pvp gear uh which i'll go show in a second or, or and when we get that far but yeah they're not gonna show the gear yet i don't know if why that is if they haven't loaded it in or what but it's a lot of items to load in so i'm sure they won't and then you can look at the model of the guy uh, different colors apparently oh because uh, yeah that's right anyways so yeah you can do that there also i seem to remember there being uh i thought there was a place in here where it would give you a link and take you to a sponsored video but i don't know if they added that later on or if that's they scrapped it or what but basically that's what it is it tells you what to do um on all players da, 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 da. so when you see wind burst pop up this is what it's gonna do that kind of thing so it helps out it takes a lot of the guesswork in your own uh like if i was gonna raid this back in the day i would look this up and i would sit there and i would spend a few hours i would watch the videos i would kind of learn the ins and outs maybe watch a i'd watch the video on like explaining the fight i'd watch a video on the fight you see what i mean and I still wouldn't feel prepared. And I would make sure all my mods were good. And da 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 da. Then I would go. It's you know, <clears throat> it, it's the unlazy way of doing things. Now I can just read a synopsis right here, and it basically tells me what to do, which is fine. I mean, I I think it's good, honestly. Um, the thing I don't like about it is it does kind of promote a little bit laziness. So some some kids will think okay well i i got this i'm just gonna run in here and i'm just gonna do this raid and they don't spend any time actually learning how to do it and then they get frustrated or pissy when people are mad at them you know it's a raid you should know what you're doing in a raid unless it says you know new people coming if it's a dungeon people shouldn't be busting each other's balls in regular dungeons i'm sorry i think that that's stupid it's a dungeon if it's a heroic dungeon you should have at least done the regular dungeon and should at least know the basic mechanics that's where this comes in to, for me that's where this would be work out great because then i'm like yeah, i'm gonna do black rock caverns uh heroic you know what i mean i want to know what it is so like there's no loot i don't know what i'm doing but i uh, i would do like i would want to know then you know it's not it's not quite on raids on raids i would want people to watch videos and stuff and get kind of familiar with the thing i almost wish that they had added like some kind of um oh what do you call it why is this thing not uh Uh, sorry, just trying to fix something here. But I, I like I was saying, I, almost like a like a training course almost would be nice because uh, you know then you can go in like you know like a test server or something. I could go in and screw around on it and test out the fights and stuff. I think that would be like because some people learn by um, some people learn by uh, reading about it. Some people learn by doing it. And I tend to learn a little more, like I like to read about it so I have familiar things to look for when I'm doing it, but ultimately I need the full experience to get everything. If I read about it, I lack stuff in the fight. If I do the fight without reading about it, I lack stuff in the fight because then I don't know the details of it, like why you need to run out or why you need to stop casting. I mean, it's, it is one thing to just do what you're told and that's, that's perfect. But if I understand why something happens, then I would be more in depth to know, like, I don't know, I guess, like if it says to hide on this blast wave, right? So you go hide on the blast wave. Great. But like, what happens if I don't hide? That's what I want to know. You know what I mean? So if you don't hide, uh, so if people miss the hide, then that's because the, maybe it's a healer in me. I want to know why. So are they going to be spammed with poison? Do I need to put down a poison cleansing totem or mass poison cleanse or, you know what I mean? Or is it a one-shot kills? I want to know that part of it too. So, you know, and that's 
perfectly fine, like, you know. But anyways, now, of course, I'm getting distracted. So then he goes back through. Now you can do group finder. It looks the same as Wrath of the Lich King, I believe. Um, except for pre -made. No, that's the same thing. Uh, dungeon finder. Okay, it still splits it up. I don't know if they're going to... Oh, they give you valor points. That's nice. That's really nice. That reminds me of new retail. And I do like that. I like that better than... Uh, I like that better than the stupid gear thing. Although the gear thing, I, I think in some of them they do... Is the group tool not working? Probably nobody's making a group, I would imagine. Everybody's sitting in town, sitting on their mounts. I mean, look at all these people. They just want to chill, you know? Look at all the ants. People are all, they just sit on their favorite mount. This is what, this is the old wow. The Orgamer would be full. People would just be chilling on their mount, talking shit and chat <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> okay, so let's keep going. Group finder, okay. Be the layer versus player. Uh, they got Strand of the Ancients, Isle of Conquest in here. I don't know if it'll let me join the battle or whatever. Um, <clears throat> same kind of thing since we're on honor. If you're in Or, you just come back up to uh, up to the honor place. This where I'm at? Where am I? Over here? It's over here. Same thing, you got your war mount vendor. Nothing changed there. Same thing in here, you got the same vendors, but there's is stuff that's changed a little bit. So now, let's see, this is Apprentice. Um, yeah, you just get, you know, uh, I don't know, Marks of Valor. I wonder if that's going to be... Do not loiter. So this is see how it won't load the gear. It won't, it won't, I don't think they populated the gear besides what they sent you in the things. So, I mean, you have, so you have a dual crafting quartermaster. Basically you have, everything's just, I think pretty much the same, except for you have all the quartermasters in here. Uh, I haven't been out to Delarian or anything like that. Look how detailed this is. That is one thing about Cataclysm is they did add some graphics to the game. It looks a lot more, I don't know, some of it looks a lot more stimulating visually. I mean, I think somebody, somebody was complaining about like the maps. So after Cataclysm, I think after Pandoria, the mountains and stuff kind of go away and it's just a flat land. It just looks blah. So show dig sites oh yeah there's archaeology too i forgot so archaeology also came out in this patch um if you don't know what archaeology is you go dig up fragments i think there's a page for it so if we get to that page we'll go over it uh, but you dig up fragments and then you hand in fragments for different things is how i remember it player versus player collection same thing have your mounts if you've unlocked the mounts in your past and apparently some that you haven't unlocked they throw in here in beta so you can play with them there's so many in here though that i have and don't have like I, like i said i don't have that that one really uh popular one like this was uh one doesn't even I mean, I've had all these except for, like, I don't think I ever had, I don't think I had this one, the Brufus Kodo. Could be wrong, but I know I don't have the, the one, the Fire Guy one, but it showed it in here, so. So there's that. But anyway, so that's that. You have your pet journal. Now you have a pet journal, so you can keep all your cats and stuff. Uh, whatever you want, your little chicken. You can have your chicken run around. Oh, yeah, you can get these. I remember these things. These are cool. Okay, so that's kind of like retail. This is where, like, retail... Cataclysm is where retail meets classic. And their attempt at the, you know, meshing 
or not meshing, but at them attempting to better the game and things. However, when they put a lot of this stuff in, they broke a lot of stuff. So uh, it took a couple things to like get back into it. And then on top of that, after Cataclysm, a lot of stuff went down with Blizzard. So they lost a lot of stuff. Hopefully they've smoothed all that out. Here's the toy boxes. Uh, basically any toy you get that you want to have, you can now have in here. Uh, you don't have to have them in your bags or anywhere like that. You collect them. So I, I have one on my guy because if I throw it away, I'll have to go get it again. And it was a quest item. So, uh, and some of them, some of the toys went away too. So if you have it, I believe that I, now don't quote, quote me on this because I have only, this is hearsay from other WoW uh, players and streamers um, that I, that I collaborate with. But I believe that if you have, a toy that is not in here like let's say this a loon lantern was taken out of the game but you have it if you once this is open if you use it it'll click it and it'll put it in here but nobody else will be able to have it to store it you see what i'm saying so unless you happen to have it on you and do it then you know or unlocked you know now heirlooms that's the account wide stuff that levels with you um which is nice i i think for alts it it, it is nice it's not as I, I like the struggle of alts like um finding gear and stuff i really do so it kind of negates some of that but you're in basic gear so if you like if you have this uh let's say you have this piece you know what i mean and you want something else that's not on this piece uh, for some reason you want spirit or agility, let's say, for some reason, I, I don't know, whatever. You, you can't do it, or if you want, like, add gems to it or something like that. So it is, it's just leveling gear, which per keeps you from buying gear in the auction house and falling behind in levels on gearing up your alt. But like I said, I think that, uh, me personally, I like the hunt, the hunting of the gear. When you have this stuff... You don't run dungeons unless you're just trying to fast run them. And so this is the kind of stuff that kind of broke Cataclysm or broke WoW in, in a little bit. Because now that I have these things, I don't need to go gear out, right? Because I have pretty much a whole set or the vast majority of a set. So now when I play dungeons, it's not to get gear. It is to get experience only because I want to dart through everything. And so then now super speeded dungeons is born and this is exactly i remember this happening now people all they wanted to do is push 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 through dungeons they didn't want to sap they didn't want to do this and that and so even playing classic going back and playing classic and going back and playing wrath of the lich king all those old habits and habits from retail are all brought back to classic so classic now you know you don't need to sap and stuff like that obviously now but um, people are just trying to speed run it. You know, they're not trying to take their time with it. They're not trying to, you know, this and that. So, I don't know. That's just my take on that. I think it was part of the problem. And then they made it easier with uh, finding groups, which Group Finder was already a thing, which I think was awesome because it sucked going there all the time. I mean, I don't want to, honestly, I don't want to have to do that, like run. Like, I don't want to get a group here for Shadowfang Keep and go, okay, now the whole group has to wait for me to get over there. Summoning Stones was nice when they came out, when Classic finally dropped that. Uh, but even then, you need, what, two people there? Or three people there? I think it's two people. So, I mean, then again, you still have to, two people have to be there, you know? So, and who's, whoever's, like... I don't know. Whoever's not there is kind of the lazy one at that point. Thank you, Railraiser. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so, I mean, that, I think that that was part of it, like I said. So, heirlooms. And now we have transmog, which I like transmog, personally. Um... I like, I don't like a couple things about it in the sense that 
if I earn a super sweet P like set, I want to be able to showcase that set. You know, like look at look at me, like these mounts that everybody has right now. If I earned it, I want to be like, look at the freaking mount I earned. I earned this mother right here. And WoW kind of got away from that with buying of mounts and everything. Now everything was like purchase. You got to purchase this cool mount. And now it's like if I pull out a mount right now that's like, uh, like let me see, where's that one? This one right here. Really cool mount, right? Look at that thing. It's badass. But it was from a it was from a purchase. I think it was like I purchased um, I don't know I purchased an expansion I think and I got it or something like that. But it takes a cool mount and makes it look kind of ridiculous. This guy's probably never seen it, but he can pull it out of his thing right now. He has it unlocked. But anyway, so back to transmog. So I like to showcase of it, but I do like to like just put something on and be like, this is what I want to look like. Like right now, I only have the sets I have in my bag unlocked. But you can go throughout the world and collect all the gear, which I love collecting stuff, honestly. Collecting is part of the game for me, does it? Um... So that's basically the transmog. I think you might have to go to the... I think you have to go, let's see, let's go down to the drag. I'm pretty sure that's where they put it in org. Where am I? Where's the drag at? The drag's all lit up now. It's right here, yep. Yeah. The... Okay, so what do we got? Transmogger. So this is where I pick my headset. I want it to look like this. Fly. Cost me gold. So if I want this one, you know what I mean? I can go through and it'll keep the tally for me. Like I want this. And I want this staff because I think it's cool or something. You know what I mean? Like... I can, I can customize my guy however I want. And look, I have three unlocked of just, what is this? My belt. So for my belt, I have three unlocked out of 257. That means there's 257 friggin' belts out there I can unlock. And on top of that, there's even more. So, for example, the ones that I, I was streaming the other day and talking about, that... Um, you like the venom spitter dress or whatever it is if you have it and you add it to your transmogs now you have it but nobody else can get it because it's out of the game so if people didn't collect it ahead of time it's not there so 257 if you get extra transmogs that aren't in the game example uh this will say like 259 out of 257 you see what i'm saying and again, this is based on collaboration from streamers and people that are, you know have told me that if you have it in your bag and then you put it on, come to the transmog and it'll save in your things and you'll have it. So, uh, under my understanding, that's how it works. From the ones that are taken out, the ones that aren't taken out, you can go look at it. Uh, da da da. Questions. You can go look at it, and I believe it tells you. Yeah, right there, it tells you quest item quest item um these other so those other things uh the other things that are listed on there are the same exact thing right yeah see so all these ones have this look so you can get them from a world drop, you can get it from quest item. So like, let's say you didn't do the quest and you don't know where the hell it is. You don't want to go look it up or you can't find it. You can go, oh, it's a world drop. And then that's where it's at. Uh, same thing with this one. You know what I mean? Same, same on all of them. But it tells you where to get them. Uh, da, da, da. So this is a boss drop. 
same thing. So, boss drop or quest. So there's a way, so if you wanted a certain look, and if I could jump out and jump into my retail, I would show you the look like that I still have on my, uh, on my healer. And then see, these are the tabards. And I believe, again, if you get a guild tabard, but I think that if you get out of the guild, it won't let you transmog to that tavern, I believe. But I'm not sure. We, we, we weren't 100% sure when we were talking about that point. So, not sure how that works. So that's basically it. Arcane Reforger is... Let's see. Do I, I think it's a... Isn't it weapons only? So if you want to change, this is the current. So if I want... If I want to take... Okay, so let's see. How do I do that? So right now, this is what's on it. These are the optional ones that you can change. So like, let's say I go, ah, I, I have too much haste right now. And this was part of the thing on the... Uh, on Wrath of the Lich King. Like, if you look at my gear, I'll get... You know, I have that, that add-on that'll tell me if it's an upgrade or a downgrade. Well, it, it's always going to... It's based on the stat, uh, how much weight the stat has. So, like, let's say... So, they, they do for mages and stuff, or for any caster, basically, it's off of spell power. So, spell power is has a weight of one. So, let's say spirit is less than spell power, but higher than other items it might have a weight of 0.9 you see what i'm saying and then hit rating would be uh, the top thing to get so it'd be like 1.5 weight you see what i'm saying so it kind of weighs out all these options and then tells you this is the best gear for you what it doesn't do though is let's say you're hit capped it's going to tell you to pick hit more hit rating well you're hit capped why would you need more your hit rating is only weighted high for boss fights so you only need to cap it i think it's eight percent um and then it caps anyways so you don't want to keep adding hit rating to it if you already are capped at hit rating so let's say this piece of gear had hit rating on it and i'm capped at hit rating i would want to decrease the hit rating on this piece of gear so let's say let's say i'm haste capped or soft capped uh i don't want haste anymore and i'm lacking on hit so i take it takes 26 off of so normally it has 66 takes a percentage of it off and now you can add it to somewhere over here so since uh well i'm a mage so yeah i'm gonna want hit basically or mastery that's the other thing the new uh thing so let's say i want hit and then i'll reforge it and now that's what my new thing is and now i can choose is the last thing Yeah, so now it is done. You can't you can't now take these stats and change it again. This is finished. So I can restore it or leave it how it is. So I'm going to restore it. But like if you wanted to do both of them, I oh you can't do both of them. I think it keeps you from stacking is what it's doing. But yeah, so that's how you do that. Uh let's see if it does armor. It does armor. Yeah, okay, so it does it all. So you can come in here and change it. You, I believe you can even take the heirlooms that you buy. The heirlooms. Like if you bought this one, I believe you can bring it in here and do that too. I could be wrong. I didn't I didn't check or I haven't had any discussion about that yet. But I believe you can if I my memory serves me correctly. Um, other than that, I think they probably added a... Maybe they didn't. No, it doesn't look like they did. Um, okay. I was going to say they, a barber shop would normally be, I think, right here. Maybe it's somewhere else or they didn't add it. I think it, everything else is pretty much the same in org, but they did add this. Uh, which brings me... Okay, so since we were talking about stats, it's not going to show me my stats. Oh, there we go. Okay, I don't remember them doing this part, but that's cool. 
equipment manager. I remember that. You can say, basically save a set. Save it as an equipment manager piece. Um, it would be, so like this is here. Uh, oh. Choose an icon. So let's say, oh, uh, I'm a rogue. I want it to be this thing. Uh, name. Okay. There you go. So this is your set. This would be this thing. And then if I go new set, um, what I would do first is actually you wouldn't do a new set yet. What you would do then is you could go in here, uh, cancel that. You go into here, you'd equip different things, whatever you want to equip, you know, gear wise. Oh, I guess mastery. Oh, I'm hearthing. Okay. So, yeah, if you want to equip different things, equip different things, then you would say new set. Do this. Put in the name. Hit OK. So now if I want to switch back, I just go this. Um, I can go back to this and I can equip it. And then it changes my gear automatically. As long as, I think it has to be in your bags though, I believe, if I remember correctly. But then I can switch it back. And if I want to change something, I can change it. Go, so I want this one here, and then save it. It changes it over that, see what I mean? So now you can, not only do you have dual spec now, you have that as well. Um, but the whole point of, how did I even get out of here? Okay. How did I do? Oh, it's up here. Okay. It's a character sheet. Okay. Now, you probably want to go through here before. Like, if you look at Wrath of the Lich King. Uh, Wrath of the Lich King is... Got... Hold on. One, hold on one second. Before I... That's me. That's not... I don't know why it's being stupid. Okay. Anyways. Alright, let's just get back to this. I don't know why this thing is doing this. Sorry, stream's not picking up my picking up my viewers. Apparently, it's weird. Like, there's a number of people in here, but it's not even picking up half of what's in here. Okay, let's see. Agility. So, these have changed. So, if you look at strength, it'll say, like, attack power and blocking, right? Um, they took, all, I think they took all the that other stuff out. So basically now it's just, except for, okay, so intellect is mana. I, it always raised your mana before. Um, it, before, though, it was crit is what it would be. Um, it would do crit and mana. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Now it does spell power as well. Um, and then you have, don't need melee right now. And then you would have a uh, spell power. So you could add the spell power to stuff. Da, 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 I think so. But it makes you, as before, like, as a warlock before, you wouldn't care so much about intellect as you would, uh, as more about raw spell power or, uh, you know, um, It doesn't look like any of these have spell power on it, so I think it's relying only on. They're all hit, crit. Oh, what's that one? Yeah, crit, hit. That one has spell power on it. Okay, so this one does. This main hand. Does any of the. Uh, 
I don't see anything else with spell power besides weapons. So that could be a thing. It could be only on weapons and offhands that you get spell power. Not sure. But intellect is one way. But anyway, so what I was saying about a warlock is, yeah, you would normally not even worry about that stuff. But, um... Yeah, you wouldn't even worry about that stuff. But, uh like intellect as much and now it's your spell power so now it's like you need it you you have to do it so it's damage and healing both of them uh haste is always haste there's new cap limits and you'll have to look those up because i'm not gonna go over all of them because i, I didn't look up all of them i only picked up uh, like this example so right now my hit chance is only six percent i need eleven percent or I need it so if I hit 8% I think that's where it's capped uh, that's for Wrath of the Lich King I, I'm going to have to look up my the new hit uh, cap hit chance but the hit chance of it uh, so you can see on an 88 boss which is a raid boss and I think most like heroic bosses and stuff I'm a, there's 11% chance I'm going to miss so even if I up my hit chance by eight percent i believe it would lower that so maybe maybe the hit chance or hit cap has been changed to like uh 17 percent or something like that i i'm not sure that would be double what it was before it some sounds like something they would do honestly uh spell penetration okay that's yeah that goes through resistances this person doing is so f stunning that's why everybody like has it um so yeah so penetration that's what penetration is uh there's ranged uh da, 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 da. so yeah so i mean Why is it showing? Okay, yeah, so strength, uh, stamina, intellect, uh, spell power, and all that. Spirit is, of course, mana regen uh, while not casting. I'm sure there's talents and stuff for others that will be, uh, you know, that, that it'll allow you to continue while casting and stuff like that. Um. <laughs> see if there's anything else so the only other thing like i mean mastery is the other new thing besides spell pen and um in order you must select this oh okay so right now it doesn't tell me well let's do that then i'm gonna go over my talents anyways but i'm gonna pick uh i'm gonna pick arcane Right? Yeah. Okay. Let's see what it says in here now. Okay, so now it'll tell you. Okay, so based on the amount of mana the mage has unspent, each point of the mastery includes damage done by an additional 1.5%. Okay, yeah, that's a, so let's see if it lets me. Oops, so summaries. Oh, it won't let me. I'd have to go respec. 
so you can only pick this once. I was going to pick and see what the mastery said on the other ones. Because I know for... Uh, see, this is the I, oh, this is the mastery right here. Duh. It just says it. Okay, so that... Yeah, so that's the mana one. And then this one is the fire one. Um... Uh, so you'd have to look at your different specs and stuff, but that's why they give you a summary page. So you know this is going to be your main ability. Uh, you know this is the specialization. You know, so your arcane spells, it looks like on mages at least it's the same. Well, this one has... Increase the damage under your frost spells and of your frost bolt spell. That one kind of gives you... Uh, two little things as opposed to this one's just flat out fire this one's flat out arcane this one gets a little bit but i think that's because frost frost was the, the lacking class for a long time on certain things like this was the explosion this was the mana and then this was i guess just kiting spec but then they changed it and like because a lot of mages that play frost are good at what they do they play frost very well so they they mastered it to the point where um, it was competitive with all the other ones. Same with Arcane, though, because everybody wanted to do Fire, like, you know, or Frost. But Frost, they kind of built their name for themselves that way. And then Cataclysm, Arcane did not get popular until uh, Wrath of the Lich King was the first time it got popular. Uh, because then you could do, as soon as they added the new talent tree from the Burning Crusades to the Wrath of the Lich King, you could now do a Palm Pyro. You couldn't do it before. Um, so now you can do a Palm Pyro. And then they figured out how OP that was. So then coming into Cataclysm, they obviously, like I explained earlier, they got rid of that. You can't do that. So, but the, the talents themselves are just as good. Like you can do a lot of good stuff with it, which we'll go over. Um, so I was just going over the stats. So that's it. So Mastery, you'll have to look on there for those. Resilience is still PvP, you know, same thing. Um, this is a little bit different. Your resistance is... Um, it actually gives you a percentage now. It doesn't just say you have low or high. Like right here, it would say you'd have none, right? But this would say on the other one, it'd say you'd have low or medium or high, which I think 85 is pretty decent, honestly. I think that's like a mid mid range. Uh, you know, for uh... <laughs> Vash makes you wet because it's underwater. Get it? Aha! Uh -huh. That's funny. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, and it even separates the mana regen from, you know, in and out. Like I was saying, there's a separate thing. So in combat, out of combat, which there was in Wrath of the Lich King, but it wasn't. It, it, it wasn't like you couldn't just see it like now you can see everything's everything's like you can see stuff so for people like me that are all about numbers i love to see because now i can if i really want to i can sit here and i can calculate i can calculate stuff so if i had this much strength it's gonna shit, give me this much dps this much this this much that and i can calculate through so technically i want 700 strength i mean that's just how people this is how people figure this out and post it online, right? The only difference is, is that they give you the tools here as before you would have to like figure out the formulas and stuff on here. I mean, you just change it and you can see what it does. You see what I mean? So it, it gives you a more in-depth look at that kind of stuff. Um, so you can, like I said, so you can figure out how much intellect is going to give you now, how much spell power it's going to give you and uh, spirit, how much it's going to give you during casting and outside of casting, you know, and all that kind of stuff. And the bigger thing is it actually gives you a percentage on your resistances now, not just low, medium, or high. Um, nothing's changed in the spell book. Same thing, you got your professions, except for now it has archaeology. Um, weird that they don't they give you first aid and fishing but they won't give you cooking why would they give you fishing that makes no sense and they give me jewel crafting I, I imagine they give you jewel crafting because your gear that you have on has jewels that you can play with since you since there's no other gear really in the game you can earn 
um, right now until you get, you know. But, uh, yeah, until you earn more. But now you can. So that's weird that they do that. Okay. But, yeah, this is just for beta just so you can test it. Um, but, yeah, same thing. There's a bunch of crap on here right now that you're not going to have, like, uh, honorable mention. That just, it's a, it's for uh, now. Like, if I want to go try stuff out, you know, the beta. If I want to go play stuff, do things. So that's, that's that. Um, like I said, I mean, there's not much. There's not much difference on this page. It's the same as it always was. I think except for on here now. You can uh, you can open it from this page as opposed to going as before as you would have to go into this page here and then you'd have to find it under your general tab and it would be like right here or something and then you'd have to pull it out or, or you'd have to click it here. Instead you can just hit K, hit your professions. Now I can just click them all right here. Like oh I want to look at what my jewel crafting is. See. So they did. They they added that. I mean, it's a feature you could live or live without. I mean, it's not like it's imperative either way. And then we have. Uh, let's see. We have. So the character stuff I just went over. It's the same stuff. Uh, this is what the stuff that's changed. Showed you the equipment manager titles. Okay, if you earn any titles. Um. You can then apply your titles there. As before, they had a little thing up above. Um, currency, this a lot has changed in here. This is uh, basically heroic gear that you would get. If you did regular dungeons, you'd have to do the dailies like we were looking at in here. You get valor points. So that would go towards that. This is, I guess this is, I don't know where the heroism is, but this is basically the same thing. So they, they have you different currencies, but they put them in here now. I'm not sure how they're doing is, I'm not sure how they're doing, let's see. So it's still honor points, I'm thinking. Let's get out of here. Okay, so PVP, yeah, honor. Okay, so. Okay, so you can check what you want to go in as if you want like a pre-made. I wonder if you. I wonder if you need to. To check it or if it'll just do it. Anyways, and then there's the conquest, which is arena battles uh, and your rewards and stuff, and then war games. This I don't remember war games. But I believe this is more like uh, pre-made kind of stuff, right? I don't know. Claims allow you to change groups of other players to a showdown and battle. War game, you must be the party leader, select the battleground arena, target the opposing core leader, and then start the war game. Okay, so basically if, if you got a bunch of guys... I, I, don't, I don't remember ever using this, so... I don't remember seeing it either. I'm sure it was. I don't know why they would add a separate thing in. But um, well, basically, if you got five guys and you're talking shit to me and I got my five guys, then we're going to run stacks against each other. Be your stack against my stack. And then we can bet, do whatever. You know what I mean? So that is that. That's pretty much... I mean, that's pretty much everything in a nutshell. That's not... Everything else is the same. Really, I mean, the only other things is the talents, like I was showing you. Um, they changed everything, so I mean, I don't know how much I can go over. Uh, unless you want specific specs. So, if somebody wants a specific spec, and they want my opinion on it, I'll give you my opinion on it. Like, I'll pick my, I'll pick my talents and everything, and, uh, and I'll show you what I'm going to do, you know what I mean? But basically, on these things, though... Which is cool that you can preview before you do it. Uh, I'm not gonna... Uh, I think on this one you need all these. But you would go through and you would... 
you know, pick your things. Um, what is this? No. I don't know. Um, yeah, so you just go through and pick what you want out of here, and then, um, once you get down to a certain point, now right now I'm, uh, Oh, that's why. Right now, I'm um, just throwing points down in a in a general sense. So, yeah, you don't need another vortex, but it's not a bad. It depends on how you're playing. So, some of these skills. This is why, like I said, if you, if anybody wants my opinion on things, like there's the core ones that you have to get, and then there's the optional ones that you can kind of like debate on, like Nether vortex example um if you're going to be using slow a lot on your targets like if you're going to put your slow on pretty much every target you don't need to go into arcane vo blast vortex you don't need to do that but if you're not gonna like i'm not gonna throw slow on everything i'm gonna throw it on whoever I would rather just spec into this then, and then just hit him with an arcane blast. It'll it'll 100% chance to fly slow to him. Then I don't have to have two buttons out either. <laughs> I mean, it just depends on how you want to play, you know. And same thing with like blink and stuff. But anyways, so then once you get to the end, you'll pick that one. Now it'll unlock everything else. So you have to put 31 points in here. You can put more if you want. That's not a big deal. But then you can come to here and like, for example, you you need this and you want that. Oh, uh, how much do I got? Five more points, I think. That, and then I'm not sure. I mean, okay, so then you would like, what do I have left? I have two points left, so I could, in here, there's two optional points that I could put in or take out. I think it's these two right here. I can put these in other spots or maybe it's... But anyways, or I can add this. I can take these two points and put them over there if I want. Or I can do like blazing speed. I'm not going to need firepower because I'm not going to be using fire spells. Or ignite. Um, yeah, and if I went, there's a spec to go, you could go Fire Blast spec to where you can add another Fire, like Fire Blast isn't bad, honestly. I'd have to read through here uh, because I'm not sure if you can use Arcane Blast and Fire Blast as the same. I don't know. I'll have to read the, the technical specs on it. I, I'm not, a, I used to do Fire Blast, blast uh, spec. Basically, you would do Fire Blast here and then Fire Blast... Uh, down here so you can stun with fire blast as well um, which is actually not too bad of a thing like if you want you could like this is the fire blast one uh, that you would go this route uh, the only reason you would have this in there is you you, you want it because you don't want to be interrupted uh, but the reason why you're going fire blast basically is probably for PvP purposes so you're not going to sit there and long cast on in a PvP battle. You're not going to sit there and cast a Pyroblast, let's say, if you had it in a PvP battle. It's just not going to happen. Uh, you want quick things, especially if in your Arcane. So Arcane missiles are instant. You know, like, it's a channeled instant, but it's an instant. So you just bam, bam, bam. As So, yeah, okay, so if somebody comes up and hits me while I'm doing missiles, it might cancel my third missile out or my fourth missile um because there you can get four missiles by the way um it might cancel those two out but it's not going to cancel the first two out you see what i'm saying so it's not as this one is not as important in pvp but you need the point there because you can't get it if you do the other ones and you want this because as a mage you're always freaking needing mana always this so this will give you back stuff anyways this is this is roughly the spec i would go uh, like I said, I, I'm not gonna. I wouldn't go fire spec or fire blast spec. 
So I put these in here, and I believe, I don't remember if I do blazing speed. I think it is blazing speed. That's what I do. So you can get the extra. Oops. I believe it's this one. So you can get the fast. Or if you don't want this, the speed. Uh, da, 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 da. Increase your movement speed to 50% to spell all uh, effects preventing movement. See what I mean? So it helps. So this is the spec. And this helps in PvP too. So again, in PvP, you're probably not going to worry about your base mana too. So I mean, you could take points out of here. Leave. Well do this um, and then you would do you could do these uh, but you could take off the two extra points somewhere else if you wanted to but that's you only have limited though that's the thing you only have what like 10 you have 11 points outside of the 31 so I mean it's really how you want to spend them uh, and how you do it like I said I would go for PVE spec I would do this I would have to fine tune this because I don't think I just kind of quickly picked it. I think roughly it's not bad, but I think that there's like some things that I would change on it as well. Uh, because I believe I normally have one point in improved blink for some reason. But yeah, so that's um basically that is uh that's the gist of Cataclysm right there. Um, there was something else I was gonna show. Da, 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 da. I was gonna show something else. I don't remember. I don't remember what it was. This guy. Oh, so this guy doesn't have the. Oh, okay. So yeah. Okay. So. In, um, I'll show you this then, since I have to go do it anyways, it makes sense. Like, see how he's flying these guys. This one's an 80, so it doesn't give it to you to start. It gives you the money to do it, I believe, but I have to go uh, upstairs. This one? Can you take this one? Yes. You gotta go all the way upstairs. Uh, if you're in retail, this will all look familiar up there. Um, yeah. You're going to sit here and wait for seven hours for this thing to come down. You only have to take it once, though, because then you got your fly amount. I think if it has... Yeah, it gives me the gold. See this one? It gives me bandages and food and stuff. Like, what am I going to do with that? It didn't give me gear, though. That's weird. Alright, so normally, if you take the one from the auction house, it's this one here. Right here. So up here, you have your flying... You're, you're, because before, if you remember, there was a tower over here. Uh, I believe technically it would be that tower there. And you would have your flight master on there, blah, blah, blah. Now there's, I think, there's a Zeppelin. Maybe the Zeppelin master's in here? No. No, not yet. So they haven't added the Zeppelins up here until, I think, the next patch. Uh, but you have your flying master here, and then you have your flying trainer. Which... Master Trainer and Flight Master. Farewell. Now you can fly. Uh, but that's where this is at. Uh, so when you come in, if you you know are wanting to fly right away in uh, the old world. Oh. And then also you can. Um, There's a lot. There's a lot of people on the server, and the server's not as stable, so my graphics seem to be. Uh, not much changed here. Um, apparently, the Zeppelin guy is not here. They're rebuilding, so they got the scaffolding up.
and as you can see this thing before this is you know I'm not gonna give too much of a tour so like I said because it's kind of a spoiler but um, but you can see the river flooded here so it came in uh, like that thing was empty you do quests down there now it's full of water um, but yeah pretty much uh, you can see how just a little bit how things have changed and this is just from Orgrimmar I'm not gonna go any further but there's your starter town you know so w once you get past uh, once you get out and past the starter town, I mean, this is all changed. There's scars. Everything's changed. A uh, big part of change is the Undercity 2, which uh, if you were on earlier uh, when I went to the level 1 character, um, I'm not going to show it because, like I said, it's kind of that, that part, that whole thing's changed. So it's not like it was. Once you leave the starter area, everything's different over there on Undead. So that is pretty much everything I can think of on Cataclysm, um, as opposed to the immediate changes that you'll need to know. Oh, look at my look at my frame per frame rate. I think my frame rate is capped at 60 right now, so I don't expect any more than that. My latency is pretty good, actually. Hmm. But yeah, uh, and then you get these things. These are quests stuff pop up here and stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much all I can think of. Of uh... Oh, so they did. Okay, so the Zeppelin has been moved in here. They added security upstairs there. A lot less Orgrimmar Yanks and stuff because of... Uh... Because the, you know, now they have better guards and stuff. It'll still be if somebody wants to put a raid together. But now you're not going to have... Like before you had... Because this and this is why they didn't want to put the the flying into the old world um, because uh, they didn't want people just flying over the top of you and ganking you. You know what I mean? Like all of a sudden, boom! Somebody drops out of the sky because you can sit like right here. Somebody that doesn't have graphics a graphics card worth a damn, they're not going to have shadows. You know what I mean? And any kind of lag you're trying to get rid of, you're going to turn shadows off first thing. But I can sit here, uh, like you're down there below, I can sit here and just go, oh, boom, land on top of you and kill you. I mean, I didn't take any damage from that. You didn't see I was there. You know what I mean? I can be casting on you before I even hit the ground. I could palm pyro you, not in Cataclysm, but in Wrath the Lich King. I could palm pyro you. You're dead, you know what I mean? You didn't even do anything. You're just standing there. You didn't even know what was happening. You know, so that's why they didn't want to do that. And I understand that completely. Um, that's, but in doing so and deciding to do that, they didn't up the guards. So the guards were all crappy guards. Now they're 85. 85 standard guards, still going to be easy to kill. Um, but you'll have more elites and stuff. And you have like, oh, he's got a bat. I didn't. I, I didn't earn the bat yet. Where'd he go? Keyboard cat. Yeah, there's another one with a bat. I don't have the bat. I mean, it might be unlocked in my thing, but I don't know what it's called. Let's take a look while we're in here. Why not? Why not? We're just exploring Cata, anyways, right? So, guessing like vampiric bat or something. Oh, I just saw it. Just saw the bat, bat symbol somewhere. What is this? Oh. I don't know if that's what I saw. Miramon's head. Oh, okay. Did he Nightwing? I actually got that one, though. Spectrals are cool too. I think those were ones you bought though, I believe. Uh, I just saw it again. Am I just like... Uh, Vicious Warwolf, no. The... 
there's a uh, one thing though, and like, cause it, like I said, it still it was still new. Yeah, they're not gonna. There is none. Oh. I don't know what it's called. It's called something else, like a glider. I can't remember what it's called. But uh, yeah, one thing in in Cataclysm. So for the, this is just a stupid point, I guess. But if you look at your collections and you want to uh, filter it, you just have collected and not collected. Before, you could do flying, not flying, water mount, you know, so ground, air, that kind of stuff. Oh, I know there's a, I'm pretty positive I have that vampiric bat in here, and I'm pretty sure that I've seen it. I just don't know what the name of it is. I keep calling it a vampiric bat, but it's not. <laughs> I really want that bat mount though because I've never I never earned it. So I've never got to fly on it. I always wanted one. And I saw them, they were in um one of the last things, I think B B O A the expansion before the dragon one. That one they were in there. You could get one. Uh but yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So anyways, right now, so that's pretty much cataclysm in a nutshell. Uh, well, an hour-long nutshell, but that's pretty much like all the new changes and stuff that you're gonna have to be worried about when you come in. Um, so, you know, uh, my suggestion is to find the the classes that you are gonna main. Um, you should already know that, anyways. But if you don't know that, then figure that out. <laughs> but then come in here, make an 80, 85. And, um, and like I said, you could do a template. I swear they didn't have, they just updated it. So I swear they didn't have an 85 uh, uh, template because I think what they were doing, the first round of betas that went out, which I was a part of that, um, I just didn't want to play it really. I went and kind of started to load it up and it was still like very basic in the works. So there wasn't much on there, but anyways, there was just an update last night and so this latest round of beta uh things that's why there's so many people in there um they let a lot more people in they they wanted 80 for the original one because then you could go in and actually level to 85 and kind of get a feel for it but then they did the upgrade update and now you can do an 85 just now so you don't have to like whatever do, 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 do. So I am going to switch over to, um, I gotta do a couple things. I have to switch over to Wrath of the Lich King, which I'm gonna do now. And so I'll put this on a be right back situation. And then I have to switch my, uh, I have to switch one of my cables and the cable that's going to my headset thing needs to be switched to a different thing so i'm just going to unplug and plug and everything should be fine there shouldn't be any problems but that's the other thing i'm doing so it might take me a second because i have to wait for the sound to come back up on my headset and stuff before i uh basically if i start wow I, it's always been like this and it's with most games or some games if i start the game and my default uh thing is on my TV like my monitor speakers it's gonna go through monitor speakers if I plug my headset in it my wow will not pick up my headset I have to exit out a wow and then restart wow as my headset being the default um, I think now in cataclysm though I believe there's an option if I'm not mistaken um, where you can you couldn't do this before but now you can uh, yeah see output device I can come in here and I can pick the different ones you see what i mean that i would want to output before you didn't have that option the game only selected your default so if you have your default set at speakers then it's going to be set at speakers and this and that so that is one option that they did on on cataclysm i don't know if i said but yeah so i have to wait for it to reboot up so i will be right back while i do this and um switch games and then we're going to go play some wrath of king I'm not sure what we'll, what we'll do on there yet, but we'll uh, figure that out. Uh, so, uh, 
Just give me one moment. Why is this thing? Hold on. Huh. Anyways, okay. Uh, so I'll be right back. I'm going to put a timer on just because I could get the thing to click it. Alright, maybe. Jeez. Okay, I'll be right back. Looking to instantly upgrade your Mother's Day gift from typical to meaningful? Shop Etsy. Get up to 30% off well-crafted and personalized gifts from participating shops until May 12th. This year, embrace your creative side. You know, the side your mom gave you. And shop Etsy for custom jewelry, style pieces, home decor, and extra special items she'll adore. Need something original and affordable for Mother's Day? Etsy has it. Shop until May 12th for up to 30% off gifts for mom. Terms apply. Come and fly away with me Come and fly away with me Come and fly away with me Come, come and fly away with me <laughs>
always gives you savings and rewards on top of our lower than low prices. And when you download the Kroger app, you can enjoy over $500 in savings every week. Just testing, testing. Okay, let's see. God, this thing, this viewer thing is irritating. I apologize, but close to making a 
affiliated and I hate to focus on that at all but but there's three people in here right now and it's only showing one now it's showing two and there was five earlier and it was only showing three so I don't really I don't really get it who knows So let's see, is this too loud? Let's see. Hmm. I have to say though, that cancellation thing is amaze balls. Alright, so I think, uh, let's check the bank. Always check your bank. Go and check our bank real quick. So I grabbed a sandwich, uh, just a little peanut butter and jelly sandwich, so I'm gonna eat that, like, in between. So if I mute my mic randomly, that's what I'm doing. I don't want to have you guys sit here and have me munching, crunching in your ear. Okay. Okay, so we do have stuff smelling something. One second here, I gotta see what the smell is. Okay, sorry about that. Get my hard to get my mic back to where it was okay all right so it looks like we have a couple uh, inboxes full though too so um if you're following my bank i, I gave him a 160 bucks to deal with I needed to make that back after my first thing I think it was down to like 90 a hundred uh, bucks one second um, yeah I was down to like 80 or 90 about a hundred bucks to 90 bucks after I put all my stuff in the thing and then I sold them all, and basically I've been putting more in, you know what I mean? I've just been cycling them. And so now I'm at, up to 522 on this person. Wow, it's weird how it tells me all my gold now. I wonder if that's an add-on that can... Hmm. I didn't see that before. I wonder if they're starting to integrate. Look, and we're missing a button here, too. Oh, it's, that's my talent button. Never mind. That's because I'm a bank. All right. So technically this would be in there. So, okay. So I had the 80, 90. I went back up to about, I think, 190 or so, roughly, after the first pass. And then my second pass, which I just did, and now I'm at 530. So I'm going up consistently now. So let's see, it's not gonna, I'm gonna see if it pulls, so 548, it might pull stuff in that I sold because it was it was full. So if there was stuff that ends up popping up, which it didn't, okay. Now everything's gonna be in here, see, this is what I mean. If I would've got down to that far, it would've pulled that money out too. Oh, I'm just kind of curious on where I was, where I sat. So not too bad. I mean, almost 600 gold. Uh, not too bad at all. I just need to go put these back in there.
Everybody names their characters. Uh, this is okay. Just just because it's me, <laughs> this is why I do this stuff. So I named her credit line because everybody names their their banks bank like something bank. So so and so bank or first bank of or you know what I mean. Um, and nowadays, like so many people, their whole lives in America at least. I, I can't speak for other places. But in America, at least, they so many people that all they do is they live by credit, right? So they don't have anything in their bank account. They might have a twenty thousand dollar car, and they might have a three hundred thousand dollar house, and that's I'm saying an average. Depending on where you live, that could be bad. But from where I'm at right now, three hundred thousands, you know, it's mid to high. You know, you're starting to get into the really nice places here. Back where I used to live in Washington, 300000 is not very good. You can't buy very much for 300000 Or California, you can't buy very much for 300000 unless you're in a certain area. And even then, that's still not a very good price. But, so my point is, is that, yeah, you, you got all these people, but they're all, they're credit rich. They're not. So that's why I have credit line. Because those people are credit rich. Me, personally... Uh, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> am I credit rich? Or am I not? Put it this way, I'm not rich. Besides, well, that's not true. I guess technically, technically, my name has rich in it. So, technically, you can call me rich because it's my name, but not... Money-wise, no, I'm not rich. Uh, wow, that's a lot. Oh, this is what we're doing. We're going to start doing 24 hours. Wait. We're not going to do it on this type of gear. So this one is the last time I'm going to put this in here. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to keep it right now. So I need to open this up. All right, we're just going to keep it in there. I'm not going to figure out how to do that. Uh, okay, so this one. Okay, we'll leave that in there. Uh, this is strength and intellect two hand. I don't think that's going to sell, but it's cheap. So we'll let it run one more time. And see, that's the thing. I got to remember off the top of my head which ones I'm saying is going to run one more time and which one's not. So what is this? Uh, giant's leg bone of the eagle. They're a leg bone. I don't think that that, see, this is something that just needs to be, that's pretty much it. Um, okay, so like this one, somebody has it in there for 80. I'm not going to put it in there for 80, but I will run it one more time at 65. Uh, actually, you know what, we'll run it. This, this are the ones. So I have seven of these. This is what I'm talking about. These I'm going to run for 24 hours because there's no reason why I'm putting them in there for, like, like I was saying before, for 48 hours. You stick it in there for 48 hours. For stuff like, like these things that are that are one-offs, you only see one in the auction house. That's fine because you want it to sit in there. But stuff like this where it's a crafting item that multiple people are going to put in. Like this guy, there's only one in. So it sucks for him. But right now, I'm going to undercut him. Right? So if I put that in for 48 hours, you know how many people are going to undercut mine in 48 hours? 24 hours is still too long for it. But I don't want to have to deal with this every 12 hours. So we're going to go 24 hours. Seems like a reasonable decision. But if you're trying to not be on your bank, then yeah, throw it in there for 48 hours. But you're in doing so, it'd be better to just leave it in your mailbox and not do it. Because then you're paying for a bigger deposit on something that you know is only going to, it's not going to sell, right? Because you're pretty sure that the, uh, the level, okay, so this is way too expensive. Like 15 gold. Um, 
like you know like like these ones 13 of them okay so i'm gonna undercut this guy who has a stack of one i'm gonna go 24 hour so if i did so right now it's four gold how many of these am i gonna sell you know what i mean i'll probably sell one or two um i'll probably sell one or two you know what I mean? So in this case, one will cover my deposit. So that's not a big deal. Even if I up it, one will cover my deposit. So that kind of makes sense, right? But if I throw that in there, I'm understanding that I'm throwing 13 in there, paying this deposit for all 13 of those and only going to sell one probably. If I put it on 24 hours, maybe I sell just that one, but it's less of a deposit and I'll have to put them back in 24 hours and I'll undercut more people. See what I'm saying? So a little bit of a uh, things to think about when you're doing e economics and stuff like that like on here i should have became a teacher i'm i tell you what because if i would have became a teacher kids would understand things so much better not that people are probably understanding what i'm talking about now maybe um but in general like i was the kid that didn't like to show my work um not because i didn't know what i was doing but because i didn't do the things that they wanted me to do like like if you uh this is the formula for this okay i understand some formulas are you have to use that formula um but there's other things this guy there's only one i'm gonna put it in there um there's other things like like there's certain problems that you can find a roundabout way of doing it that makes sense to you um right so i would always feel embarrassed because they would be like this is not the way you do it this and this this is how you do it and it's like you're you're making me think a certain way that's not how my brain works and so i can see like one gift i guess you could say a gift or whatever that i have is i have the ability to like relate to how people are seeing things like that you know so since i think outside of the box let's say on how to do this uh problem this math problem let's say um you come at me with your way i'm able to understand how your brain is coming up with that and why you're doing that so i would be able to dissect what you're doing and figure out where you're going wrong if you're getting the wrong answer rather than say this is garbage do it my way do it this way you need to do it point one point two and point three only and what that's going to do to you in life is you'd be a great you'd be a great answer for the military sure because you're going to do what they're telling you to do every time and you're not going to question it and that's that and the same thing with like a cop they don't want cops to think on their own that's what happens when people when cops start thinking on their own that's what happens when people get in trouble by the law and things because they're 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 mixing up their job with their emotions basically and so they can let things get to them and that's why cops get into trouble for things like that they, they ultimately a good cop would be a, a dumb cop that just goes to work does what they're told this is by the book like robocop if you're a robocop you'd be perfect but once robocop started having a mind of its own like okay i need revenge because he killed my mom or or i mean my girlfriend or oh it was his partner wasn't it um then yeah, you know, then he started mixing emotions, but he was still just by the book. This is what you're doing. You know what I mean? Um, but if you can teach people, oops, but if you can show people that there's other ways, like, like, like I said, if I could show somebody that your way's not wrong, it's just a different way of thinking. Try doing this and then be careful of this. And then you'll have more correct answers. You'll figure it out better. This is where you're going wrong. On, in your in your thought process now mold that over come back to me with what you come up with because it's your process i'm just telling you where the air is lying somewhere in that process so you need to find that and correct that and i'm able to kind of show you where where to look and then you know and and to be understanding is the main thing to be basically understanding about the way people solve things and look at things in their life um, and I think a lot of days, nowadays, especially teachers, uh, you know, they just, they go by the book and especially when they get so much like flack from 
uh, parents saying, you're not teaching my kid correctly, you know, or this and that, and they're giving them such a hard time when they're just doing the best they can, um, you know, under their budget and whatever, you know, what, what's somebody to do, you know, of course, you're just going to follow the, you're just going to follow the curriculum, you just want your kids to do, your kids as in your class kids, you just want them to do what they're told that way you're not getting in any trouble because let's say I, I encourage you to think differently and outside the box to solve this problem. I'm going to get a call from your mother next week saying that you missed a, you did bad on a test because I taught you how to think a different way. You see what I'm saying? And not even to think a different way, to embrace the way that you think, not the, what I just said, but to embrace the way that that kid thinks. And then, and then the teacher gets in trouble for trying to, uh, you know, encourage a kid for doing what they're going to do anyways, honestly. They're going to they're gonna go through their, their life figuring out problems of things um, on based on how they learn to deal with it. You know what I mean? Like, that's just how it is. So, if you tell them to not think and just do whatever, then that's, I guess, that's, that's I think, what's the, part of the problem with the world nowadays. But then there's the other side of it too, where you do have teachers and things where they're trying so hard to come up with new curriculums and stuff. Like, I'm gonna teach you how to add and subtract a whole new way. That to me, and, and the problem with that is not that they're teaching a new way or a new method. The problem with it is for one, yes, it's disconnecting the parents from the, the kids. So if they wanna help their kids, they have no idea this new formula that the teacher's trying to create. Um, but the other problem really of where it is, is that the teacher is now so hell bent on making that, that, uh, like not be a bad thing. Right. So like my new thoughts on this, and I'm a teacher, my new thoughts is this, this way to solve this problem is, or this way to solve this stuff is going to be way better. It's revolutionary. I think it's super easy. Well, it is probably easy for you, probably easier for some of your students too. Some of your students aren't going to take to it, you know, but you're going to be, since it's your idea and your, you know, movement, basically, you're going to put everything behind it. And so if that's when it reinforces the thing I was just talking about, where the kid, the kid wants to learn on his, like come up with the problem on their own thing, but the school system is do it as a drone, do it as a drone. Well, now the new teacher came up with a new method, so good thinking on their part, I guess. But now that teacher's gonna drive that home to that kid, to all their kids, and that this is now the new drone method, basically. Because if you don't, if you don't let the kids adapt to your thing, or if you, the kids, if the majority of the kids don't adapt to your new method then how are you going to justify it to the principal or to whatever when there's these kids are getting bad grades you know what i mean and you see what i'm saying so yeah it's it's so the the teacher wants to make sure it's represented properly is what i'm saying and so they have to drive it into their kids and at that point now you've taken a good idea and you've made it into into the same thing you're trying to get away from of drone thinking but now you've created a different way of drones thinking, if you can understand what I'm saying. But because you're now back to square one of driving it home to them, only do it this way, only do it that way, because if you don't, then I'm going to get in trouble because this is my thought process. This is my baby that I just developed and I want it to work. And now these kids aren't doing it properly. So it's not going to, no, now I have to reassert it and then reteach you, no, do it this method, do it this method. Now you're droning them again. You see what I mean? That's that's what I meant by that. But twenty-four, okay. Yeah, so that was a little tangent, but I mean, you know, just my take. Just my take. Shh, like a like a mushroom, it's a shiitake, a shit take. It's just my shit take mushroom. That's all it is. Uh, okay, so this one too. These things, mats too, you should only put them in for 24 hours or less. Some of these things are going to pop up super quick and some of them won't. I swear I just put these in there last night. 
Must have been two days ago, though. Maybe I did only put him in for 24, though. The other problem with the 24 thing is uh, if they do run out, so let's say you put medium leather, just like how I made my money on the server, if you, if you medium leather runs out and yours that you put in, let's say you put it in there at an expensive price at 48 hours because that was the market at the time, and then the, the market runs out and yours is expired already because you put it on 24 hours, not 48 hours. Now you're not going to sell all that expensive leather because you you were trying to do it smart, basically. So you, that's the other, that's the double-edged sword part of it. But yeah, so even, oh, I'm not done yet. But even after putting that first round in there, weeding out some things, I still haven't, I'm still back to, I mean, I was just under 6, 600. So... After I put these in there, I mean, I might be, oh, that's not very much at all. See, I, I'm not going to, maybe 10, I'll, I'll still be above 500 gold. So basically, it cost me just about 100 gold to use the auction house. So I need to make more than 100 gold every time I'm using the auction house. What is this? Oh, that's, I thought it was a lower level one. Yeah, 10 gold isn't bad for that. In there 24 hours sure uh sure venom spite <laughs> see this is me setting the market me setting the market it started at 7500 gold for this thing and then i dropped it to five right and this is a uh, i think this guy here it doesn't really say who it is, but the other dude that had one, now more people have one. But the other dude that had one was matching me. And then this last time I put it at 4,000, now we're under 4,000. I, I don't want to lower it anymore, honestly, because I, I don't think it's going to sell before Cataclysm anyways. I don't think enough people know that why people are buying, spending this much gold on something so trivial. On, or, I mean... I do on the trivial part. I don't on, like, why would you be buying a crap piece of gear for that gold unless there was something else? And I don't think other people know enough about something else or care enough about it. Caring part I get because it is just its vanity type items. It's not, you know, something you need, but... S piece of the profit. I've been thinking... 35... I mean, 27 gold. What is this? Okay, not too bad. Five of them. All right, let's just end up this. Let's just end this up and uh, let's put these in for what they are. All right. So if, yeah, it was only like I figured it'd only be about 10 gold, but it was like 13. So, 5.30. So, I now have to go above 600 gold. So, I need 60 gold to keep everything rolling. And I keep going up in money. This is why you do a bank. Because if you do it and you do it smart, then you can keep track of it. Like, on my guy, I'm just throwing money left and right. Who knows what I have? I know I'm trying to save right now to 5,000, but... Yeah, 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 okay, so now that we're in the game, this is what I'm gonna do. I am going to eat my sandwich real quick, and I am going to go to the bathroom while I'm eating my sandwich, not at the same time, mind you. I'll probably eat real quick and then go to the bathroom, and then I will be right back. So I'm just gonna leave this on, uh just gonna leave this on the screen I'm not gonna put a be right back because literally it's gonna take me like two minutes probably all right be right back
All right, all right. What do you say? What do you know? What do you know? What do you say? Oh, got a bit of an echo. There we go. This stream manager thing is just still not, it's still bothering me. It's gonna tank my, not that I stream for average, of course I don't, but it's gonna tank my average today because of it. And like I said, I'm just close to affiliate. So I just, I'm like, I don't know. You know, like it's one of those things like, like let's say you're gonna buy a new car and you know on Friday you're gonna get that new car, right? But if there was a chance that you could get that new car on Thursday, Thursday evening, or a few hours, you know, like six hours earlier or something, you'd do it, right? You know what I mean? So I'm just trying to pay attention to it, is all. And I shouldn't be. I don't, generally, I don't even. The only reason I see how many people's in my chat normally is just so I know if I'm, uh, like, if people are talking to me. Okay, uh, da, da, da. but um, we are going to do a shorter stream today, though, um, because that is that is partially why I have been streaming shorter lately, um, because it, it's it, it just like, I don't know, uh, I don't want to, when you start paying attention to these things, that's when streams start to become more of a job and not as fun. Like, like I, I do it as a hobby. I like to do it. You know, if if I can make a couple coin on the side for like uh, charities and things like that, then that is what I'm like down to do. I'm retired, so I really don't need money. It's not like I'm. Oh. Ah, I'm not even okay. Ah, ah. I just pulled everything. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Oh, and they're immune. I'm dead. I am dead. That is not what I was... I was totally not even paying attention. But yeah, like like I was saying, when you start paying attention to that as a, as a streamer, that's when you start getting stressed out and... Blah blah blah, and like I said, I'm not doing it for a career. Like, I, I, it's not gonna fund my family. You know, that's what I'm saying. So, I don't need to look at it like that. I don't need to be so, whatever. I just want to make content. You know what I mean? And that's pretty much all I want to do. So, and it's nice, like, if people, you know, if people like what you're saying and like what you're doing, and enjoy or learning or any of the above that's nice you know what I mean so of course if I could just kill him I had to waste a health pot but I don't even know how hard these thingies are anyways Sorry, that last one was a little too uh, close to WoW music. If I want to listen to WoW music, I'll put WoW music on. Oh, look at that. There's a shadow above me. There he is. What is that? Condor. Ooh. Can I fly on it? <laughs> I remember uh, I met a... One of my one of my first uh, girls was a WoW player. Uh, we met on WoW, and uh, she uh, when I she never played like she had just started playing kind of thing like she wasn't into like the rest of WoW. She was just kind of oh, da da do whatever, and that's like that's perfect. I mean, do do what you want to do, you know, kind of thing, but. My point was, she was still really inexperienced about a lot of things in the game. So, I, you know, I was like, you know, hunters, right? You can have, because she loved collecting, like, the little pets and stuff and all that kind of stuff. 
like you realize that as a hunter you would have like any pet that, that would fight alongside you and she was like really i thought they just got whatever the like, because they you know most people have the ones the everyday ones you know that you see all the time and so anyways and i would like we'd be out questing or something and i'd be like look at that thing you know like look at that dragon over there and she'd be like cool can it be my pet <laughs> like on everything it was so funny can i can i keep him <laughs> you know like that whole thing i was like oh that's so funny <laughs> most of the time though because i was still kind of new to wow too i mean i was like it was before i was just so let's see i just got done with uh classic rating so i knew a lot about classic uh, I guess stuff that the guild told me because I didn't do, I mean I did some research but not a lot um, but I wasn't I had one character or two characters one character I just started doing my second character you know what I mean so I was still pretty new everybody was still pretty new um, to WoW I mean I, I was more progressed just because I had a guild that I could raid with and stuff so and a lot of people didn't have that and as you know, in Classic, you don't have Group Finder. It's not like you're like, hey, let's just uh, go in this little thing over here and we'll have a group. It's like, no, you got to spam and do it. That's one of the reasons, like, she never did anything because she didn't want to know. She, she didn't know how to talk into, the, you, you know, like the lingity, like, you know, looking for a group, you know, like DPS looking for group RFK. You know what I mean? Like take somebody to know what you're talking about I guess once you play the game you catch on it's not that hard but for a new person yeah you're like you don't get it looking for group okay I get that you know but it's something that you would think that you would you know it doesn't like automatically translate you know because like uh, like example I could put MC out like molten core right well, some people are going to think that's Minecraft, or, you know what I mean, just that, that's maybe not the best example, but, you know, if I'm talking, they might think I'm referring to Minecraft and not referring to the game, when I'm referring to a raid in the game. That kind of thing, so it's all of them don't exactly extrapolate, like, perfectly, but... Extrap... Okay, where's... Where's these damn treasures at? Do I have to get them? I can just go diving for them, right? Or I can just find them here. I need to kill these things, but... Not like they're that hard, really. I wasn't prepared the last time. That, and now I know they don't fear. Which is nice to know. But I think I can banish them. I thought it was like. I mean, he's a corpse. Oh, wait, that's a corpse. Haha! <laughs> yeah, so it's undead, so I thought that was the stipulation. Okay, uh. Doing this old style, I should do this like keep doing this the new way. Problem is though, is that they hit hard. At least these ones do, anyways. See, these things are a little bit hard. Like, I can't take three of them on. Even with that, that group of four that was on me, I, I thought I could probably live through it, even though I wasn't prepared. And as soon as I saw how hard they were hitting me, compared to how much... Oh, I guess I don't have that on either. Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe I'll try it again. 
But I could tell what I was saying though is I could tell. For 20? Is that all I have left? Huh. <laughs> okay. Okay. package thing over here, I think. Did I already get it? Uh, maybe. Maybe not. Either way. I'll just run the beach, I guess. No point in me going in the water. Okay, why is it stuck on that target? Yeah, okay, so it's not, not that they hit hard, it's just the fact that I didn't, I'm not, wasn't prepared both times. Honestly. With my food buff and with my shield buff, I was able to out heal him. And as long as I'm just skipping around. If you wonder if skipping around helps, it does. You'll at least, at the very least, dodge. Like, they won't hit you, I guess, because it'll register to the computer that they're not in range or whatever. They won't hit you at least about a third of the time. Sometimes a lot more, honestly. What was that? Oh, oh, undead. Undead. What I do, boys, is what I do. It's the lock doing a lock. Oh, he died before I got the thing back on him. Oh, wait, I should probably get one of these. Still don't have a. Up a chunk of mana. I'll have to take a mana break real quick because I made a soul stone. I should be out here with one handy. I mean, the only problem is it's like I leave it in my bag because I don't like using them all the time. Kind of a lazy that way. Do I need that guy? But if there's like, I mean, there's not really allies or anything around, but. But, you know, just in case. But, I, yeah, I like to... I at least like to have one on me because if I start to die, I can usually cast it on myself. Before I die, depending on on how ahead of the game I am. <laughs> if I'm not paying attention. Or I'm thinking, like, I'm, like, I'm trying to fight a losing battle no matter what. Because I do that a lot. I, I, I am one of those people that is, like, never say never. Even when it's lost, never say never. It's kind of a, uh, you could, I mean, you could say it's a good trade or a bad trade, but it's that's me. So like a lot of times in battles, you'll see me like stick till the end or try to like. If I would have just left, probably two hits or three hits before that, or when this whole thing went down, like I, you know, I, I should have, like I saw it, but you don't, because. I don't because I sit there and uh, 
do that. I can, I can, I can still win. I can still win. I'm not going down like this. I'm not gonna run. You're not gonna kill me with my back turned. That's kind of the whole mindset, I guess. I can't wait for like Kata now. I want to like level and like. I want to be there. I want it to be there. Okay, so that wasn't enough anymore. More? Okay, now that's that one. Uh, however. I have a feeling I have to go kill that captain because I didn't pick up that quest. I don't know if that's what that quest is, but that quest is still there. This is modeled after a song. Yeah, I can. I, the song's on the tip of my tongue. I like this though. I like this music a lot more than the ones that comes with the streamer stuff. Tell you what. What was that now? Okay, so I gotta kill him. Alright, so I just did double the questing. Basically. I need, uh forgotten ghosts so any of them I think that'll be easy I'll just start up here down oh oh what's up I need to kill him apparently oh what's up dude I just came I thought it was an ally what the hell is this ally I think he's doing well fear your ass that up. I should have, um, I should have used my death coil after I used my mana regeny, my mana drain thing. ones to be picking fights with, honestly. Good thing about, uh, I think I've said that before though, lock farming is, they don't have to be standing next to you, like they can be, you know, like you don't have to gather them up. I mean, that depends though, your dots, like you have to get to a certain point in your build, otherwise you gotta send your voidling out like I did in the early days of this, you have to send your void out to tank everything. But 
yeah, because otherwise, because then you use your AOE fire and you just do it that way with a bubble. But um, but the the if they do a lot more damage to your bubble, so you can only do like groups of four or five tops. Um, yeah, and they have to all be on top of you. But yeah, once you get your dots up to where they can heal you. Like, you get fell armor is one of the main things. Uh, because you also have to do a crap ton of... Like, your dots also have to be strong enough to almost at least kill them, or almost kill them before they're all gone. I like on these guys, it seems like about three of them is about perfect. Uh, at least on the, I don't know about these guys down here, but at least on the, the rifle guys. Oop, wrong button. So close to my drain for some reason. See, like that last that last couple guys like it took them longer to die so um, I didn't have I didn't put the dots on them like reapply the dots in time so um, <clears throat> if that's the case then I take hits without getting healed as well like it, it's my corruption is the one I'm worried about the agony one will kill them and that's the other thing there's a lot of changes to locks on uh, cataclysm uh, I wasn't gonna go over it uh, if locks want me to I will but like curse of agony is not really a thing then anymore I, I don't know if they like took it away and brought it back or what but now you have like like you got curse of weakness um, that the not curse of weakness it's curse of exhaustion and curse of something else and those are like your key curses now um besides corruption corruption is always going to be corruption it's like the locks first thing but um or like his first big move like i think that's the one that you get for free or something with it but uh just kind of stupid i think they should give you what best you uh, the grasp one or whatever all right, so we got you done, and I get uh, Hand of Vengeance, huh? Hmm, Hand of Vengeance, rep. Well, I'll be damned. What do we got over here? We got some of these Scarlet guys we need to get. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry, Mama Bear, didn't mean to touch bear. Oh my gosh, really? There's. How can they put. Okay, that's kind of ridiculous that they even have. I mean, I can't complain, I guess, but. I don't pay for YouTube Prime, music, Prime, whatever, everything. Um. Except for TV, I don't buy TV from them. But I, I mean, like, I get zero commercials, zero ads, and yet they still are able to put ads on everything. It's like it says clearly in your thing that I don't have ads. You know what I mean? Like, so why am I every time I'm watching? I think it's because, uh, like, they don't put their ads, but then there's content creator ads. Like, and what I mean by that is like. You know, if, like, if you're a content creator and you put ads, like, up on your thing. Um, because then it's like, that's your control, that's for you, that's, that's me supporting you, not me supporting YouTube, let's say, right? Um, and I'm talking about, I don't know how it is in Twitch, even though I'm a Twitch streamer. I, I just, I, I know, like, 
I'm just speculating on YouTube pretty much on there because um, but yeah I mean because so yeah so that means so like if a content creator puts it up um, then you're supporting the content creator uh, because it's there I mean you're watching their show right so that would make sense but why does YouTube have to throw their shit in there? You know what I mean? Like, oh, by the way, now you can watch. You know what I mean? So, but don't advertise it as zero ads if it's not zero ads. You know, I'll I'll watch the ads to to help the content creator for sure. But I'm not gonna do it for YouTube. They got enough money. Are you freaking kidding me? <coughs> Excuse me. I wonder what those blue shoes are that I got. Or leather. I don't even seem to sell very well. But it's like a darker piece of blue gear, you'd think. People would want it. If they didn't want to run dungeons or something. You'd be surprised at how many people don't want to run dungeons. Like, I, on my pally tank, I don't want to, like... Like, I can tank. Like... You know the basic the basic principles of tanking is to take the aggro off of everybody. That's the main basic thing. Know the fights, obviously, so you can position. You're the position master. But um, but other than that, like that, I know how to do. Okay, so I should be okay. But nowadays, tanks also have to be the leader of the group too. So, like, I don't remember my way around a lot of dungeons. I mean, what is this thing? Can I, like, ride him? Why does he just chill there? I need to target something first. Oh, I need to do that. Throw to Scarlet Onslaught Prisoner. Oh, okay. That's back at the thingy. I had to like read it all funny. Like I was illiterate or something. I didn't understand what they were. I need to turn my lights on. It's too dark in here. But you don't know that. Na, 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 na. Kings and the queens, uh, something, something in your mama's home. <laughs> oh, that's not this song. This song's kind of oh, that's why it's kind of low, huh? Nobody can hear it. are listening to me. I can't hear the freaking music on the thing. There's this to do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. Alrighty. Do 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 do. Uh oh. What am I doing here? I'm looking for these barrels. What I'm doing. Killing people on the side. That's just the fun part. Wait till I get to their babies. I'm gonna eat their baby. Where's Hansel and Gretel? <laughs> um, my uh, main lock on... Uh, Oh wait, I don't think it was my main lock. I think it was my healer actually that But I I made a character and I named her uh what did I name her? Oh uh Death Witch. You know, like she's a death and witch, right? Okay, I mean whatever. It's like just simple whatever. 
But the reason why I made it that way is because then I could say you just got served up with a death witch sandwich or something. A death witch shit shit. shit. <laughs> it was funny at the time and it made sense however I used it. But now I don't remember the joke and now she's just a death witch. And I don't play her anymore anyways, but she is was was my uh, top geared tune. Um, from this account, anyways. This account. I only have one account now, but <clears throat> I had a my original account that got hacked, and Blizzard did nothing about it. I think they hacked me. Honestly, I still think that to this day. Nobody's ever gonna convince me otherwise. I believe at the time that they were having such a problem and it was like, if you look back on it, it was such like they were in turmoil on everything. Um, I felt like, like all of us people that had farmed everything and had everything and spent as much time on the game, I think that they wanted us to like reset in a sense. I mean... I don't know, maybe it was a miscalculation, that's what I'm thinking, like, they thought that, and then people were just like, you know, like me, and say, well, fuck it, I'm not gonna play anymore, and I didn't play for years. <clears throat> I made another account, and I never went back on and played, I just made an account because I needed one for, uh, Overwatch. Oh, what? Okay. Why is it asking me that? Of course it's gonna... Well, I know it's a thing, but... I'm not in a group. I think I'm gonna have to come here and kill this guy, like this blacksmith and stuff. I think this is like a... Uh-oh. I thought that thing was shining too. What's this guy doing in the Any weapons, armor. What is that? Oh, okay, that I already What else do I need here? Um oh I killed everybody else, so I just need the armor and the Oh, this is gonna take a while. Oh, and then see. I already fought you, buddy. Didn't you remember dying just a minute ago? Here, let me refresh your memory. Let me refresh your memories. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh-oh, don't get me started on that damn thing. Start doing that voice all night. I guess if I kill him, I don't have to kill the horse. Let's try it out. I mean, it still has dots on it, though. Yeah, it takes the dots off. But I thought I could. Can I ride him? Let me ride him. I want to take him for a little stroll. I don't have a target. Oh, 
was this one? Oh, she's a priest. Priestess, this is. This is. There's gonna be, there's probably more in here, honestly. Probably, probably. Well, no, just so there's a couple. There are not like a lot of people in here. up with the trend there'll be a lot in here like I thought I think that, uh, um, I think I need to kill him. This, this torture guy, the blacksmith, and the wood guy, and there's probably a, a dude in the other thing, too. Oh, I thought there was a chest over here. I want to go look at that thing, though. Look at that thing. That's cool looking. Got a big old head. supposed to do? Go upstairs now? You're gonna make me go upstairs, aren't you? So, hey, pop the hood. No faith. Pop the hood. Everybody knows that movie. Hey, everybody knows that movie. Cause, the, Cause you know I owe you a 10 second car. If you don't know about that. I don't know what to tell you. You just snuck in here and tried to hit me. You tried to hurt me. All right, I need a... Uh, I need a piece of armor. You know what? Let's just get out of here. Let's get out of here. Let's go check this other side. Wait, where am I? Where does this go? Oh, 
Yeah, I forgot about this place. I don't see an armor piece though. Yeah. Come on. Uh, actually, it's this way. Come with me. Come on. Follow me. Come die at my feet, please. Thank you. Come again. Weapons rack. Hmm. Let's see if there's one on the bottom floor. Okay, I'm done with you. This one I got first, one of these ones. See if they may or may not respond. I don't know. Maybe my quest is off, because it said, maybe it says complete now? It's complete. Okay. So, I swear, I swears. That guy's not even. Um. I swear it still said, like, 9 of 10 or, or whatever. 8, oh, it's of 8, so it's 7 of 8. And I was like, I just got it. How come it didn't? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. Oh, well. It's done now. It's done now. No crying over spilt onslaught. Oh, anyway. Oh, I'm gonna die here. Wait, 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 wait. Killed my buddy, didn't he? Oh, now I got more people on me, and I'm like right here. They all left like they were supposed to, except for that one asshole right there. Of course. He had to get the last fucking hit in. Uh, where am I at? Can't see with all these fucking things on the thingy. But all the thingies on the thingies. Get your thingy off my thingy. I need to look at the thingy. Got nothing. It's inside this building I'm taking it then. Oh wait though, I do need to... Do this too. To do that to this one as well. Hmm. Well, then let's see here. Where's the other one? Where is the other one? Oh, is he moving? down here okay <laughs> is it just me or did I see him over at the other place is this trinket no next haste spell power and mana regen and that one's not hmm 
The, uh, I guess if it had hit instead of mana regen, that wouldn't be worth it, but... Otherwise... Alright. Chunk of quest and there's no dent into my uh, experience thing. No dent. Okay, so what do we have here? What is this guy right outside the road? Oh, okay, so there's picked clean. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I see. Okay. Because actually, guys, I am going to end the stream. Um, I was only going to do a short stream today, like three, three and a half hours. It's almost three hours. Uh, I'm only ending it a little bit early because uh, I got to take the dogs out and the rent. The lawnmower's outside and it's about ready to. We're, we're in tornado watch coming. So I got to go outside and do some things. And uh, that was what, the reason why I was only going to do a short stream is because we're also in Tornado Watch. So if I lose power, it would suck doing it in the middle of the stream. You know what I mean? It's just stressful. Like, oh, and then you'd have to explain it. It's a whole thing. You know what I mean? It's just a whole thing. So anyways, I will be back on. I might be back on later on tonight, uh, but I'm not sure. Uh, if I don't, I will be doing a lot more late streams again. Uh, I just not yet. Like I said, I'm trying to, is the late streams are more for my VOD viewers. And, um, like I said, I'm trying to hit affiliate. So, uh, and that's not my sole thing. I'm just trying to get over that hump real quick. And, uh, so when I do, when I hit that, I'll go back to some night streams because I generally don't, I don't stream the night streams for viewers. So, uh, you know, for views or whatever. Um, I get views during the day because people are on during the day. Um, and then the VOD ones, it's just so somebody has something fresh to look for. Like, if you want to see what I did last night, you know, and because you're sleeping, you're at work now, and you want to watch it, go ahead. You know what I mean? That's why I do them, that kind of thing. But anyways, so I will jump off here. And um, I also, I got a new, some sound stuff. So I wanted to make sure that everything's working. So I got to go over this stream and make sure everything like sounded decent and maybe make some tweaks and stuff for next time. So if you're new to the stream, that'll change. I'm sure if there's something wrong or something weird, uh, it's just kind of a test stream on, on the sound things. But uh, other than that, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something out of the Cataclysm stuff uh, that will be coming out next month pretty soon uh, and I do have some games that I'll be playing this weekend that is not WoW as well so if, if you're uh, into my other variety stuff I have some variety coming up um, some I just got I just got welcomed into a new beta uh, so I got a beta key and possibly keys to give away as well so if that uh, happens then I will let you know probably tweet it out before I do everything I probably won't just do it on stream so I'll, I'll make sure everybody knows, you know, kind of thing. Anyways, uh, so I'll see you next time. If not tonight, then tomorrow. You guys have a good day and a good evening. 